Hello Aries and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your Archangel Michael reading for March 2024 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you, Aries. So let's see what we have for you for the month of March 2024. We have God is in charge, whatever God means to you. Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. So, higher power is in charge in some way. Let's see what we have with that, Aries. I'm going to pull you... Okay, that card <laughs> turned over. So we have medicine. Now, medicine energy can be when you find just a solution to your issue. Um, now, it can actually be very good in terms of healing, health areas, actual medicine, um, actual solutions to problems. It can be in health and healing areas, but it can be in other areas as well. So finding just the remedy, just the solution, very key this month. But I feel a kind of feeling here that you find just the just the right solution for you. Let's see what we have for you, Aries. Let's pull you an additional message. What do we have for Aries? Thank you. Archangel Michael message for Aries, March 2024. Thank you. We have do something different. Bottom of the deck, I did look, so I'm going to say it, laugh at your demons. All right, let's pull some cards, see what we have for you. What do we have for Aries? Thank you, Archangel Michael. Message for Aries, March 2024. Archangel Michael, message for Aries, March 2024. Thank you. First card. Well, that's lovely. We have the Ace of Swords. The, card, the word at the bottom says victory. Ace of Swords means so much more than that, but it is a victorious energy. We have the Seven of Cups, Choices. Three of Pentacles, we have Action. And bottom of the deck, we have Uncertainty, the Two of Swords. So Aries, the Two of Swords can be when we're stuck. And with the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles can be very good in terms of um, collaborative energies, uh, very good in terms of building something solid, stable and secure or rebuilding. Uh, very good also in terms of finding some kind of negotiation um, compromise and again solution to your issue so these energies are very good on that basis this could be involved in uh, some kind of, of decision or choice to make in terms of whether to rebuild something for you um, but it can also be to do with where you're stuck in terms of whether some kind of compromise or negotiation process that you're going through can work I mean it's really the kind of like the same energy uh, so it might well be that it's trying to really get everybody on the same page and see if some kind of significant agreement can be found, whether it's in terms of love romance, wider relationships or a money situation. And the Seven of Cups, you know, the Seven of Cups can sometimes be hopes, dreams and wishes. 
this just feels like um, there may well be a period where there's a lack of clarity on t uh, or uncertainty in terms of whether something can be accomplished or not. But with the Ace of Swords being here, because we have the Two of Swords and it is going down to the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords is a breakthrough energy. It can be a breakthrough in terms of finding some kind of common ground agreement or agreed way forward in how you're going to move. Whether you're making a decision or coming to some kind of agreed way forward, some kind of solution to your issue, you know. So this feels like the breakthrough is coming in. Um, very good in terms of clarity, decisions, clear way forward, um, epiphanies. But it all kind of is leading to the same thing. It feels like it's to do with finding some kind of agreed way forward, you know, uh, whether it's to rebuild, whether it's to come to come some kind of, uh, find some kind of solution, getting everybody on the same page, compromise, negotiation, process. So this could be to do with relationships on money areas, but the same message applies. I think that there is this feeling here that things are looking hopeful as you move through the month of March. It's almost kind of like you feel um, that things are looking really hopeful. And then there is that kind of breakthrough where there is an agreed way forward. And that's what I'm seeing for you here. Now, it might well be, you know, doing something different. Sometimes we have to have some kind of different approach or be open to compromise or negotiate in some way. Um, but it feels like you're finding the right solution for you, an agreed way forward um, that is bringing some kind of breakthrough and significant clear way forward. And that's what I'm seeing for you here. This is why you're saying laugh at your demons. Now, I just want to say when we talk about God in charge, the Ace of Swords is linked to divine energy. So spirit is helping bring this breakthrough to you. Um, clarity, purpose, uh, intention, decision. Uh, but it feels like there is some significant breakthrough and it's bringing some kind of clear way forward where things have been a little bit unsure, uh, a little bit confused with the Seven of Cups. This is where that, that breakthrough is coming in. So let's see what we have for you, Aries. I'm going to pull you Yeah, we have Earth Guide as your first message. Your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. So we have Earth Guide. Could be someone might be guiding you here as well. Or spiritual guidance, intuition. Let's pull one more. What do we have for Aries? Thank you, Archangel Michael message. Thank you. Creation. Being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. So it might be resonant for you this month. And I'm going to pull you an additional Archangel Michael message. What do we have for Aries? Thank you. What does Aries need to hear? Archangel Michael message. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Oh, my goodness, Aries. We have God is in charge. And then we have number 42. Your prayers are being answered. Your prayers are being received by the divine. Answers, answers will come soon, although perhaps in forms you didn't expect. And I'm going to pull you a final angel message. What do we have for Aries? Thank you. Final angel message for our lovely Aries. Thank you for the month of March. I'm going to choose from this deck because it tends to stick together. We have gratitude. 
Thank you. This is a heartfelt thanks to you from someone you recently helped in some way. I, your guardian angel, also wish to thank you for the unconditional love you emanate to the earth, humanity and those around you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are eternally blessed. May peace, grace and love forever guide you along your sacred path. Aries, that's what I have for you as your Archangel Michael message for March 2024. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.